क्वेश्चन नंबर 11 से द ग्रेविटेशनल पोटेंशियल इन अ रीजन इज गिवन बाय v is equal to minus x square y plus y z cube plus x z square y joules per kg the gravitational field intensity at 1,1,0 1,1,0 meter will be dear students the gravitational field intensity can be written as minus del v by del x i cap minus del v by del y j cap minus del v by del z k cap herein the x component of the gravitational field intensity would be equal to minus del v by del x that will be equal to 2xy plus z square y the value of the y component of the gravitational field intensity will be minus del v by del y which will be equal to x square plus z cube plus x z square the z component of the gravitational field intensity will be equal to minus del v by del z and this will be equal to 3y z square plus 2xyz z dear students on substituting the value of x y z as 1 comma 1 comma 0 we can find out the values of g x g y and g z the g x turns out to be equal to 2 the g y turns out to be equal to 1 while g z turns out to be equal to 0 therefore the gravitational field intensity will be equal to 2 y cap plus j cap newton per kg which means option number 3 is the correct answer now let us proceed and discuss the question number 12 Question number twelve says mass density of a sphere of radius r is directly proportional to the distance from its center. The variation of magnitude of gravitational field intensity e due to the sphere with distance from center r is best represented by. Dear students, it is given that there is a sphere in which the density varies such as it is proportional to the distance from the center. Let us assume that the density of the sphere is equal to rho naught into r, where r is the distance from the center. Initially, at a distance r, let us assume a small spherical element of thickness dr. The mass which is enclosed in this thickness would be equal to, that is, dm would be equal to the density that is rho naught into r into 4 pi r square dr. On integrating, the enclosed mass turns out to be rho naught pi. R four, dear students, for the inside points that is R is less than capital R, the gravitational field intensity can be written as G m by R square. On substituting the value of m as the enclosed mass, we find out the value and see that E is proportional to R square. Dear students, for the points which are outside the sphere, the gravitational field intensity will be equal to G total mass divided by R square. that means it will be inversely proportional to r square and hence initially gravitational field intensity will be directly proportional to r square while outside it will be inversely proportional to r square the graph which correctly represents the behavior is the graph given in option number 4 and hence it is the correct answer now let us discuss the question number 13 question number 13 says a wire can sustain a maximum weight of 20 kg force it is cut into five equal parts then each part can sustain a maximum weight of dear students when the wire is cut into five equal parts it means that the area of the cross section remains same and if the area of cross section remains same it would mean that each part would be able to bear 20 kg force as well because the maximum weight that a wire can sustain depends on the material of the wire and the area of cross section and if both of these quantities remain same then the maximum bearable weight remains same as well the answer therefore for this question is as in option number 1 that is 20 kg force dear students let us discuss question number 14 question 14 says when a force of 100 newton is applied on a wire of uniform cross section the length of wire is increased by 1 mm the elastic potential energy stored in the wire will be Dear students, the elastic potential energy can be written as half multiplied by the restorative force into the extension. It is given that the restorative force is 100 newton, while the extension is 1 millimeter, that is 10 raised to the power minus 3 meters, that is in SI units. And this 
turns out to be equal to 5 into 10 raised to power minus 2 joules, which makes option number 3 as the correct answer. Now let us proceed and discuss the question number 15. Question 15 says the average depth of Indian Ocean is approximately 2800 meters. If bulk modulus of water is 2.2 into 10 raised to power 9 newton per meter square, then fractional compression of water at the bottom of ocean is. You have to take G to be equal to 10 meter per second square and draw water to be 1000 kg per meter cube. Dear students, the gauge pressure that is the change in pressure from the top to the bottom can be written as rho into G into H where rho is the density of water and this will be equal to 1000 into 10 into 2800 that will be equal to 2.8 into 10 raised to power 7 newton per meter square. The fractional change in volume can be written as delta P by B which will be equal to 2.8 into 10 raised to power 7 divided by 2.2 into 10 raised to power 9 and this turns out to be equal to approximately 1.27 into 10 raised to power minus 2 which makes option number 1 of this question as the correct answer. Now let us discuss and proceed to the question number 16. 